this is Janae from the Itch to Stitch. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use our I Miss Your Kiss font in free software from Brilliance. At the time of release, we did a Facebook Live video demonstrating how to use this font. I'm going to go ahead and present it as is instead of trying to recreate my work. So that's the reason the quality level of this is a little different than what you're used to. Let's take a look at this new font that we have today. It's called I Miss Your Kiss. It is a script font that comes in six sizes. It has a half inch size. That's what this Chandler and Monica was stitched with, a half inch size, all the way up to three inches. And it includes numbers and punctuation, but some of that is flourishes, like this heart flourish that can go between two words. Also a left and right flourish that can extend um, on either side of a word. And so I want to demonstrate how those work. Um, you can see them in use here. It'll make a really cute wedding announcement if you use the heart between the bride and groom's name and stitch out the date. Or this one says, here comes the bride. And we used um, the heart-shaped periods as the dots in between just the numbers for the date. Again, this is a full alphabet, so it includes capitals and lowercase letters and numbers and punctuation. But like I mentioned, there are a couple special symbols. We purchased a commercial license to use this font from the original font artist, and she had this symbol associated with the backslash. And then these two symbols are associated with the parentheses. So this font doesn't have a traditional parentheses. It has um, these extra flourishes. So we named the design files to match the font. And also, if you use our font in Brilliance, you will type those keys. Um, so if you're merging letter by letter in a program like Embird or So What Pro, look for those design file names. But if you're using Brilliance, it's super easy to just type it out. All right, so I created a lettering object and typed this out, but I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how I did that. So I'm going to create a new page. Now up here um, in this box here is where we can get our preferences. And for my hoop, I have um, the brother eight by 12 hoop selected um, just so I've got some a good amount of space to work with on my screen. I will click the A button to create a lettering object and the first word that I had there was national so I will simply type national and click set. Now it appears first of all in the built-in block font that comes free with Brilliance, but I don't want to use that. I want to use our new font and when I click this box you'll see I have all these itch to stitch fonts installed. If I want to quickly jump to the bottom, I'm going to just type I2SIM and that will bring me down to itch to stitch. I miss your kiss. And let's do the 1.5 inch size. All right, you'll see that the letters come in, into view already lined up. The letters are aligned on their baseline. And Brilliance automatically merged each of those letter design files for me we set the default letter spacing to be 0% because script fonts look best when they overlap. And so the very closest that we can place them as far as a default setting is just where they're touching. But you really want them to overlap a little bit better. So if you go down here in the properties box and change this space bar, if I change the space, this is a uniform thing to tighten them up, I can make them overlap better but often I end up having to do some manual work. So what I would like to do is I'm gonna use this right here to zoom in and get it really big on my screen so I can see what I'm working with. And then you can move individual letters if need be. If you click the green square in the middle of a letter, you can move just that letter around, okay? But that's actually not what I wanted to do, so I'm going to undo this. Instead, I want to select the green pennant that is at the bottom. And when I select that, I can move not only the letter, but everything after it. So that whole thing moves and stays in place. So I can drag it to overlap those letters just a little bit more. And I'm going to do the same thing here with the T and the I. And drag this O out just a little bit. The N needs to come out a little. And then the A and the L. And the nice thing, what you want to do on letters like an L is just make sure that it visually looks like the stitching is going to finish curving just like that. Once I have those letters positioned the way I want, then I'm going to go ahead and go back up here to zoom and select hoop so I can see everything. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next line of text. 
So if we look back what I had here, I wanted online learning with that heart that is connecting the two words. Let's go back over here. I will create a new lettering object by clicking A and I will type online. Now I want the backslash and learning and click set. And that brings those into place. Can you imagine merging that letter by letter? It would take so long. It's just such a nice feature to be able to click set and let in brilliance do that for me. So I'm going to quickly walk through what I just did, um, trying to get them lined up just the way I want. And again, if I were before stitching this, I would zoom in close and make sure I like the letter placement for all of these. One tip right here as I get to the R and it's the same for the letter S, you actually want them to overlap significantly because again, you want this to flow like handwriting. You want that to come up and match that curve right there. Let's go ahead and get the I and the G. Oh, did you happen to notice how that G dangled below the baseline automatically? Again, all letters like G and Y and J, um, we have positioned them already so they line up the way they would visually if you were handwriting this. All right, and our last one, we're gonna create another lettering object for our last word, which is day. And that had the flourishes on the left and right. And again, those are the parentheses. So I will type a parentheses, capital D-A-Y, and a closing parentheses. Oh, I just hit my thing there. Click set, and there are those flourishes. All right, so if I get these lined up just the way I want, Now I've got three different lettering objects. I can kind of space them in the hoop, try to get them positioned the way I want. Now I could just kind of visually center these, but if I want to make sure that these three lines of text are technically and mathematically centered with each other, I can select all three of those objects, go up to this button up here, which is align and distribute. And on the align tab, select that I want to align their centers. If, you, if I were to, instead of that, click left, you'll see that it will it would align their lefts, but what I really want to do is align their centers and click apply. And now that everything is selected, I can now center the whole thing in my hoop and save that as a new design file and take it to my embroidery machine to stitch out. All right, so that was just a quick run through of how to overlap letters for a script font and how to bring in these um, special flourishes Again, the heart is a backslash, and those two flourishes on the sides are the parentheses. Um, one more quick tip I wanna share with you. Let me open up one of those files that we stitched. Here comes the bride. For this one, again, we did it in three different lines of text, and we did that in different colors to just, just for fun for stitching it out. But I wanted to point out the date. One of the drawbacks to using 0% letter spacing is, for example, if I type my name and pull up I Miss Your Kiss. Okay, again, remember we had that 0% letter spacing, so it makes it easier for a script font to tighten them together like that. But if I were to add my uh, birthday, well, I'm not going to tell you my year, haha, <laughs> and click set. The problem with 0% spacing is for the numbers they touch, and sometimes that can make it hard to spread out if you want to spread out your numbers, but you don't want to spread out your letters. So let me show you what we did on this. If you look here, what I typed is I typed a space between every number, which will allow it to spread out more so that when you're combining both letters and numbers, when you want the letters close together but the numbers spread out using spaces in between those symbols can help you get that all spread out. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips.